Hi everyone, I'm Erica from the Google AdWords team, and this is AdWords in under five minutes. This video will teach you all you need to know about showing ads in Gmail. Let's get started. Sign in to your AdWords account at adwords.google.com and create a Display Network Only campaign by selecting No Marketing Objective, and then All Features as your campaign subtype. Fill in the rest of your campaign settings as you would for a normal display campaign. It's best to create a campaign and ad group for Gmail ads only. This will ensure that all of your Gmail ads have the correct targeting and aren't competing against your other campaigns. When creating your ad group, select Use a different targeting method. When asked how to target your ads, select Placements from the dropdown. Then search for Gmail and select mail.google.com. Click Save and Continue. It's important not to use in-market audiences targeting, remarketing lists, dynamic search keywords, custom affinities, or placements other than Gmail inboxes, since these targeting methods aren't supported by Gmail ads. Since Gmail ads must be created by using the ad gallery, we're going to skip ad creation after creating our ad group and create the ads directly from the ads tab. Click the ads tab and then click the red plus ad button and select ad gallery from the drop-down menu. Click the Gmail ads image. Remember, you must use a Gmail ad from the ad gallery to run on Gmail. Select the template you'd like to use. Choose from image, single item, or multiple items templates. Custom HTML creatives require some coding knowledge. You can see how these work in the Gmail ads custom HTML specifications article. In this case, we'll select Gmail image template. Enter an ad name, display URL, and a landing page URL. Note that static tracking URLs can be used, but impression pixels and dynamic tracking URLs are not permitted for landing page URLs. Upload a logo with a max size of 144 by 144 pixels. The logo image will be used in the collapsed ad. Enter the name of your advertiser next. This must be the domain or recognized name of your advertiser and under the character limit of 15 characters. Next, enter the subject, which is the title of your collapsed ad. The subject can have up to 25 characters. Try including an offer, percentage discount, or compelling announcement. Enter your description. This should be a short summary or powerful call to action and can be up to 100 characters. Finally, upload the image. There are a few requirements to keep in mind. It must be less than 650 by 1000 pixels with a minimum of 650 by 300 pixels. JavaScript, style sheets, Flash, HTML5, audio, iframes, and GIFs are not allowed. Once everything looks good, check the ad preview. If it looks correct, click Save. And that's it. Let's wrap up with a few important things to remember when setting up your Gmail ads campaign. First, to run ads in Gmail, you must use a Gmail ads template from the ad gallery. Other ads will not work. Second, when creating ads to show in Gmail, it's important to remember that this will be your main targeting method. You can target topics, demographics, interests, and keywords as you would in your display campaigns. However, it's best to avoid other targeting methods. Third, ads that show in Gmail can only show to an individual Gmail user up to four times. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below. If you have further questions, you can find us on social media, discuss this in the AdWords community, chat to an online specialist, or pick up the phone and give us a call. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.